global hunger has been a problem for a while. There's been people that have tried to solve it, but it's a lot harder than people think. Global hunger refers to groups of population who regularly don't get enough food. I want to find the best solution to end global hunger, and my solution is to come together as a unity and or community and do more food drives. The first source I have found is how farmers have produced enough calories to adequately feed the world. Global, the global trend is moving right direction. Uh, between 1960 and 2015, the prevalence of undernourished people in developing countries declined from 23.3 to 12.9. If you ask me, that's a pretty significant number. For the first time in history, the end of, world, of, end of hunger is within reach. But while the world is now closer than ever before ending global hunger, the United States has come up with the solution to end it. This source helped me understand that the world hunger is possible to overcome. Just, just seeing the percentages back then in 2015 is astonishing. As of today, we are 9.9% .9 of people that are still struggling with world hunger. Secondly, my second source is the scientist's perspective, which I think is good because if you have multiple perspectives, it will truly understand why world hunger is so bad and now it's getting better. The source is about a scientist who has a long journey of stop trying to stop world hunger and it has many different colleges and he went to many different colleges and has a PhD degree. Throughout his journey, he understands why the world hunger has come, has been happening and comes up with a solution to stop world hunger. This source helps my statement and helps me understand how long world hunger has been, thing, has been a thing and what kind of solutions we need to do to come up with ending this problem. My third, my third source is about a young adult who is privileged, who doesn't understand what world hunger is. The student that participated learned about the causes and the impact of the world hunger and global poverty. Perhaps this is the greatest, perhaps the greatest human rights crisis is world today as a devastating effect of poverty and hunger in developing countries. According to Sash, more than 10 million children are developing world in the world die each year from these diseases stemming from simple malnourishment. One in 10 children from these countries will die before reaching the age of five. This year, the United States will spend approximately $16 billion, billion a year fighting global poverty and 30 times the amount, 40, $450 billion on the defense budget. This, support, this, support, this source supports my statement and helps me realize how much the impact of the world and really ha was and still is. Global poverty also tries in ties into it with, because that's where it starts. My fourth source is about the global economy and their weak actions towards global hunger and poverty. This food crisis has been on the agenda since 2007 and there is still isn't enough contribution from them. Like I stated in the first source, farmers produce more than enough to feed the world. What is holding them back to the prices to obtain the food? What is holding them back is the prices to obtain the food. Prices increase all the time and then the number of people that are on the verge of struggling and end up struggling because of the prices. Although the produ produ production of significant quantities of food is the, is the main problem, other equal important factors must also be addressed to achieve adequate access to food for all. The world currently produces, in cal calories terms, more food than is needed to meet this objective. The food output for the capital of the global scale is, has been rising, even through the recent crisis period, however, because food crisis can erupt even when there is significant food available, it is important for food security policies to include measures beyond simple boosting pr production, in particular policy measures to, that seeks to improve distribution and access must be in, inter, integrated in food security policies. This source helps me state helps my statement and understands that the prices have a major impact on the world, hunger, and global poverty. Changing prices or looking at what we can do better will help and solve this solution. This other source is my main or my own source, which is me being the Dominican Republic because my father, I used to go there every summer, uh, seeing there's that there's kids on the streets all the time due to poverty and low, like because of there's no food and they always struggle through food. Seeing that there is also another enough uh, problems that it is as it is as a family and trying to find food for those for their young, 
which I think that if we come together and donate as much as we can, and not even that, I know that when I'm home, I see canned food all the time in my pantry that is, goes not to use. So seeing that food drives will help and coming together as a community will also benefit us. My fifth source is about educating world hunger. There are a lot of people out there that don't know about world hunger. In this article, there are two students that role play at the Small Liberty Liberal Arts College. They go on to teach the community about world hunger and why it is, has such an impact on today's society. Very few undergraduates have more than ba basic understandings of this global crisis and very, college, very few colleges deal adequately with that knowledge gap. The issue can s seem very abstract to college students, particularly those in the development world who are surrounded by all you can eat dining, dining options and an endless array of fast food delivery sources. The help bridge get the gap between the reality and poverty and inequalities and hunger that are average college students innovated, innovated techniques must be used. This source supports my statement and helps me understand why people don't understand global hunger and poverty. In conclusion, world hunger and global poverty have been an issue for a long time and I think there are plenty of solutions out there that, we, that can solve this program problem but the biggest solution is coming together as a community. The benefits of coming together as a community is, would be that world hunger would slowly, be surely go, would slowly but surely go down. Also, less food would go to waste and our community would be stronger as a whole. Thank you.